pastoral supervision, what is it? It should be a supportive context in which those of us who are ministering um, have the opportunity to share with someone else uh, what's going on in our work, both in a general sense, but also the detail of some of the more difficult things we encounter. Um, I think it's a way of realistically watching over one another in love, um, so that the minister gets cared for and watched out for, but also so that the interests of those we work with um, or work amongst, particularly at points of vulnerability in their lives, so that uh, someone else is watching out with us for their interests as well, safeguarding them. I mean, it's the immediate stimulus. So recommendation seven of the past cases review is uh, that we need to address issues of accountability um, and um, supervision is a recommended way of doing that. Um, is it all about the past cases review? No. I mean, this is something which, if you trace it back through church reports, um, we've been saying for the last 15 years is something we need to move to. So I think the past cases review provides us very sharp stimulus uh, for putting the resources and the training where it needs to be to make this work. Personally, I think pastoral supervision has been useful for me um, in getting a perspective and an overview of my work, um, seeing things uh, within the ecology of God's, God's kingdom, um, not getting so bogged down in the detail, and that helps me to be um, proactive, uh, not just reactive. I think it's very helpful to have a regular context where I take things which are difficult uh, to think through the decision-making process and the decision and sometimes to share responsibility for that with somebody. Um, and then the other thing I think is, it's re I found it really helpful to take uh, things off the difficult pile where I feel stuck um, and to share, perhaps get to the bottom of why it's difficult for me, that particular task, but also just to rehearse different strategies for moving on. I think it's always, well, it's a good use of my time, supervision, um, when I've thought about what I want to use the time for, um, and I've prepared something that I'm stuck with, or uh, finding difficult, or what I want to get perspective on. Um, that, that makes it a good use of time. I think also, though, I have to be willing to be open, really, to hearing what someone else has to say. So if I just fill the time by talking, I'm not getting good value out of it because I'm not hearing what that person either sees in what I've brought or they might sometimes have things to t say to me that I need to listen to. So if, I'm, if I do those two things, I think there's always good value and insight out of it. We all want to be responsible agents of God's kingdom. Um, what does it mean to be a responsible agent of God's kingdom? I think for Christians that's about um, following Jesus Christ who came uh, to bring life in all its fullness. So the question for us is um, how, how do we ensure as best we can that the interventions that we make in ministry uh, make for life? Um, and the trouble is you know, we, we know, um, and the past Grace's Review has revealed this, uh, if we didn't know already, that we are not God and um, that our interventions you know, are not always in having the impact that we would, with the best intentions, like them to have. And supervision is a realistic way of getting into the detail of the work and the interventions we make, um, and uh, doing our best, I think, to ensure that uh, our practice um, has the kind of impact for life uh, that our intentions have. Yeah, the question about whether superintendents or district chairs can offer this kind of supervision, I think that's a good question, because uh, it raises the question of what's, if you like, line management supervision compared with offline supervision. Um, I think we have to recognise that you know, the PCR has shown us why accountability is important. So it's important that we are accountable to you know, the people who have responsibility with us for our ministry. Um, but it may not be a particular superintendent or chair's gift. Um, and it, there may be reasons to do with the particular relationship that mean they can't do all of the job with us. But under this system, it becomes their responsibility to make sure there's a good alternative. 